AMD or age-related macular degeneration is a very common form of blindness in the elderly. It's the most common form of central retinal blindness in the Western world. And we reckon that it affects approximately one in 10 people over the age of 55 in Ireland. And it's age associated. So the longer you live, the more chance you have of getting AMD. So essentially AMD also breaks down into two types. There's one form called neovascular AMD and another form called geographic atrophy. So they're both end stages of the disease, but they're very different. They look very different. So people with AMD describe feelings of not being able to read properly, be able to drive, watch television properly because their central vision is gone. Now, what's really important at the very, very center of your retina is an area called the macula, okay? And an age-related macular degeneration, the macula degenerates. And when they, those cells degenerate, they can't support the cone photoreceptors anymore and eventually the cone photoreceptors will die and you will lose your central retinal vision. So the focus of our study was on the end stage of dry AMD called geographic atrophy and the studies over the past five years have been to try to really figure out why is this disease starting and what are the primary initiating events that are, are leading towards this condition called geographic atrophy. So to do that our study incorporated a whole range of experiments that transcended translational models. So we used in vitro models, so cells in a flask. We used animal models. We also used human subjects. We did clinical research to try to figure out and piece together the puzzle of what is causing geographic atrophy. And we think that it's coming from the blood vessels in the inner part of the retina that are be becoming dysfunctional with age and driving the progression of this, this atrophic form of AMD. I've been lucky to meet people um, in the ophthalmology field, but also those patients with AMD and all they want to know is if there's a way to salvage some of their sight because I think the lack of being able to sort of recognise people, to be able to read, to write, to look at, watch a movie um, or drive, it's kind of, I can imagine myself, if I had lost the ability to do some of that, it would be really heartbreaking and sad. And so when you meet these people, they're really sometimes so upbeat that the fact that even though this is happening to them they are willing to be involved and they want to make they understand that they can't help themselves but if something can happen for people in the future that would be really good.